What's going on YouTube? It's Tyler and today I'm going to talk to you about 10 ways you can improve your TV reception if you use an over-the-air antenna for programming. Now a little bit about myself, I actually install antennas in the Pennsylvania region and I've done many of them to the point that some people were in a very bad reception area and these 10 tips I have for you will definitely make a difference between a non-watchable signal and a watchable signal. So back in the analog days, if reception wasn't optimal, you'd probably have a little bit of static both in the picture and in the sound, and you might also have some ghosting due to multipath interference. In the digital era, you either have the signal or you don't, so you have to do everything you can to get the best reception possible, or else you'll see something like this. Also, most television stations aren't on the channel they identify as. Take New York, for example. If you look at this diagram that I made, these are the channels that they identify as back from the analog days, and these are the channels they are actually broadcasting on. You can see that CBS and NBC are actually on UHF, the same with Fox 5. One way you can find out what frequencies the TV stations are on in your area is to go to tvfool.com, signal analysis, and type in your address, and then look for the real channel number. The virtual channel number is the number that the TV station identifies as, but the real channel number is a channel number they broadcast on. Now the first tip I have for improving reception is to make sure you have the proper antenna to pick up the frequencies in your area. There's no such thing as an HD antenna, it's just a marketing term that cheap antenna manufacturers use to get their results going first. Many of you probably have this model and I can tell you the preamp and rotor usually go on them within a year or two. And this model works okay, but doesn't have any VHF elements. So if you have VHF stations in your market, you're probably not going to pick them up reliably with this antenna. I made a video that kind of explains of different kinds of antennas, VHF low, VHF high, and UHF antennas. You can find that video in the description of this. But as I mentioned, you want to make sure that you have the proper antenna to pick up the frequencies in your area because a UHF antenna isn't really going to pick up a VHF station that well, and a VHF antenna isn't going to pick up a UHF station that well. You want to make sure the antenna is pointing in the proper direction of the broadcast towers. And you can find this out on antennaweb.org and typing in your address. It'll show you the exact location the antenna should be pointed at. Now, if you're using an indoor antenna, you want to make sure that antenna is near a wall or window in the direction of the broadcast towers. So, for example, in my scenario, if I have signals coming from the north and I have my antenna on the south side of the house, it's not going to do a good job pulling in those stations. The next tip I have to improve television reception is finding what I call the sweet spot. Now in many areas that don't have optimal reception, it's unlikely that just putting the antenna in a random position is going to get you all the stations. You're going to have to move it around, try it in slightly different directions, different locations on the wall, possibly even different rooms to find the best signal that you can get in all the stations. Now when you're doing this, it's a good idea to use a signal meter on your TV set, but if your TV set doesn't have a signal meter to see a signal going from bad to normal to great, I'd recommend buying this converter box. It's only about $30 and it has a very accurate signal meter that shows a percentage of what signal you have. For those of you with an attic or outdoor antenna setup, another way to improve reception is by adding a preamplifier. Most people aren't aware of the fact that every foot your cable runs, you lose a tiny bit of the signal. And I find 25 to 50 foot cable runs can lose channels depending on how weak they are. I added a video in my description on what preamps I recommend. Another way to improve reception is if you're using these little unpowered coax splitters, you should know that every time you split the signal, you're losing a little bit of the signal. And that these should be replaced with distribution amplifiers that not only compensate for the loss when splitting the signal, but also add a little bit of gain so that you don't lose even more of the signal through long cable runs. Here's a little video I made in the past that explained what happened when I connected these unpowered splitters to an antenna. So here in my living room, I have the TV tuned to what's usually a weaker station, WBRE 28 Scranton Wilkesbury. Right now, it's hooked in directly with a coupler, so it's not being split in any direction. You can see the picture's all right. It's not breaking up or anything. Once I hooked up an unpowered two-way splitter, the signal was pretty bad. It wasn't really that watchable. And when I hooked in the three-way splitter, you couldn't even get anything at all. It was just a jumbled mess of pixels. Another way to improve TV reception is to make sure not only the antenna, 
but also the coax cable running from the antenna to your TV set does not run parallel to any electrical cords, electrical lines, or even perpendicular and intersect these lines because that can interfere with the television signals themselves as well. See, I have an indoor antenna at my location. It's an outdoor antenna, but it's inside. I notice whenever my laptop is plugged in near the antenna, I lose one of the stations I like to watch Judge Judy on. So as a result, I have to either move the antenna away from that little cord or unplug the laptop. Now, if you live within 10 miles of a very powerful FM radio station, there's a good chance that radio station is interfering with some of the weaker VHF TV stations. Many preamps have FM traps built in, but one thing you need to make sure of is that you don't have any station broadcasting on VHF channel 6. Keep in mind if you have a TV station that identifies as like a Fox 6, or an NBC6, they probably aren't broadcasting on that frequency. You can verify this by going on tvfool.com, typing in your address under signal analysis, and looking at the real channel. The only exception to the rule is 6ABC in Philadelphia. They do broadcast on VHF channel 6, and you don't want to use an FM trap with that station. In addition to FM radio stations interfering with TV stations on the VHF band, it's also possible you may be receiving 4G LTE signals interfering with UHF TV stations. And one way to combat that interference is to purchase an LTE filter. They simply screw onto your coax cord going from your antenna to your TV set or distribution amp and quiet down those LTE signals, the interference that you're getting from mobile phones. Another way to improve television reception is to make sure you're using a decent coax cable. Most of you aren't aware there are various different kind of coax cables. Most common are RG59, RG6. RG6, as you can tell, is much thicker than RG59. RG59 bends and just goes down easily, it's more subjectable to interference, and RG6 is a lot more sturdy. So if you have a pretty thin coax cable, you got a cheap antenna, good chance it's RG59, a lot of times they'll say it on there. Replace it with an RG6 cable and you'll probably get better reception. Finally, the single best way to improve your TV reception for those of you not in the best reception area is to mount your antenna either in the attic or outside. Many people just want to get the cheap little flat panel antenna mounted by their TV set and expect every single station to come in the market. That's not usually the case. There are certain stations that are weaker than others. And as a result, you got to do all you can to bring in those signals and make sure the signals stay the same in bad weather. Indoor antenna models are usually smaller than outdoor models, so they're not as good in terms of reception. In addition, you can lose up to 50% of the signal by using an indoor antenna inside. Just because of all the building material on your house aluminum siding can significantly weaken the signal. So if you're having reception issues and you tried everything that I'd mentioned, try just putting the antenna outside. It's not gonna kill you. As long as it's grounded properly, you're not going to have any problems. And if you subscribe to my channel, I'll show you exactly how to mount an antenna five different ways and how to ground an antenna. I'm working on that stuff now. Winter's finally over, so I'll be dedicating my channel to more mounting antennas and installation of antennas. So there's 10 tips that I have for you to improve your TV reception if you use an antenna. Hopefully at least a few of these options are feasible to you and improve your signal. Subscribe to my channel for more antenna-related information and have an awesome day.